Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how I make a crucible out of a propane cylinder. And I use this in my backyard foundry for melting down aluminum cans and scrap aluminum to make ingots like this, which I then melt down to make stuff like this. So, let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to mention that these crucibles tend to fail after a while. They develop little pinholes that will eventually leak like this one did. And it's typically around maybe the 10th or 12th firing or so, so they don't last forever. So I'm always trying to make a new one from time to time. So I made this one last night and we'll make another one right now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is an empty propane cylinder. And this one here is not empty, so we won't use this one. Fortunately, I have this one over here. And you want to make absolutely certain that it is empty. And even when they are empty, they're going to have a little bit of gas in them. So the first thing I like to do is vent out that gas by making a few small holes in the top. So I'm just going to use this drill here with a 3 16 drill bit and just make three or four small holes across the top. After I make the holes, I just kind of like to shake it a little bit. And there probably is a little bit of gas in there still. So what I like to do is I put on my hearing protection and I just ignite it. So there's quite a bit of gas still left in there that just kind of ignites. I'd rather have that ignite now than when I'm cutting it, with, which is the next step. So the next step is I put in the vise, try to first determine what height you want your crucible. I'm going to make one that's basically around the same height as my other one. And actually going to go a little bit shorter. I think I'm just going to go along the line that's already built in to this where it has a seam and just cut along that. So next thing is clamp it into the vise. So the simplest method to cut this would just be using a hacksaw, trace right down the line and cut that through. It's going to take a little while to do that. You could also use a sawzall with a metal cutting blade. You could use a Dremel tool. I think I'm going to use a angle grinder, which I have right here with a simple cutoff blade. Actually going to move this to the other side because it's a little bit easier to cut from. I'm doing it this way. And hearing protection and eye protection. So now we basically just cut right around the line, turning the crucible as I go, or turning the tank as I go. Now that we have the cylinder cut, the next thing I like to do is just stick it back into the vise again and take a file and just kind of remove the burr like that. So that there is all set and the last thing I like to do on my crucibles is just give them a little pouring spout. And the easiest way I've found to do that is just to stick it right back in the vise again. Grab a torch. And then heat up one area. Get it nice red hot. And using an iron bar like this one here, this piece of rebar, just stick it in there and just give it, start bending it. You might need to heat up a few times to get a good little core spot on there. And 
there you go. I'm not going to touch that now because it's a little bit hot, but that is pretty much done. All right, so there you have it. This one here is done. And as you can see, it fits an aluminum can very nicely. It's almost as if it was designed for that purpose. I do like the bigger ones because I can do more with these. These are the camping ones. The important things with these is oftentimes they don't have flat bottoms. And if you get these, sometimes like this one here has a plastic bottom that if you remove this, it's a rounded shape and it does not work. So you need one that has a flat bottom like this. So that's it. If you wanted to, you could add a handle to this, making it easier to get in and out of your forge. I don't bother since these fail pretty regularly. It's just an extra step. So I just use a pair of channel locks like this. Easy enough to kind of clip on there, lower it in, pull it back out again. And uh, yeah, super simple. So that's it. Thanks for watching.